What's up guys? You guys, we are in Key West, Florida. It is so pretty out here, you guys. So we were oh in Miami. God. We drove all the way down here on that really famous highway that has oceans on both sides of it. Such a cool drive, you guys. So pretty, so many islands, and oh, it Oh, it was awesome. Anyway, the drive took about three and a half hours from Miami. So you guys, it is the next day though. We are here in downtown Key West. It is beautiful. Like I cannot get over the cute houses. They kind of look like North Carolina, South Carolina, the, like the white state looking houses, but then with palm trees all over and you're right on the beach. It's such like, a cool vibe out here. And we stopped you guys, a few of the other keys like Key Largo and a few other the smaller keys. Nothing compares to here. So definitely recommend if you are planning on heating up the keys, Make sure you come to Key West. It's worth the extra drive. Or if you're in Miami, come on down because it is gorgeous down here. Such a different vibe from Miami. Just really small town, beach town. So gorgeous. We are here right now in the courtyard of Ernest Hemingway's home, which is so cool. We're going to go on a tour right now. We hear some pretty cool things about this. Nate actually knows some cool fun facts. So we'll share those with you in a little bit. But we're going to head in, take a look, and we're going to bring you guys along with us. Wow, this is cool. This is Ernest Hemingway, the man himself. The place that we went to last night, you guys, it was one of the properties that he actually owned that the restaurant's now built on. He used to hold boxing matches there, and where the boxing ring used to be is exactly where our table was. Yeah, it was so cool. <laughs> There's a lot of history here in Key West, which is really cool. You guys, look at these windows, just the architecture. It's so cute. Looks like he was a big fisherman. Your dad would love this, Jared. Oh, he would love it. Look at this old typewriter. That is cool. I wonder if any books were written on this one. It's so yeah, cool. Yeah, seriously. Look at this cute room. Oh my gosh. You guys, check out the kitchen. That is so cool. Okay, so another thing we learned last night from this restaurant that we're at is that this is actually all of his stuff. Everything you see, none of this is like decoration. This is his actual stuff. This is his dining room table. Wow, look at that. Look at the old fireplace. I'm touching his camera. <laughs> over to his writing studio over there. But it fell. This is what it looked like. But the railing, they replaced it. But the catwalk used to be right here over to his writing studio where he wrote 70% of his writings. So we're gonna head over to his writing studio next. How much will you give me if I slide down the railing? <laughs> writing studio. How cool is that? Where all the famous books were written. This is crazy. His typewriters here, his books, very cool piece of history. And you can see where the catwalk would have been. Right there is where it connected. This place is awesome and definitely must visit if you're ever in Key West. Yes. Now, I don't know if this is original or not, but it looks like Ernest Hemingway had a pool and a pretty legit one. I'm gonna have to ask the tour guide if that's legit or not, if they just added that after, because that is one awesome pool. And his entire estate here, you guys, is like a tropical oasis. just found out that this is legitimately Ernest Hemingway's pool. How cool is that? He had his own pool and it's like insanely pretty. Look at this. Hey guys, check 
check out this lighthouse back here. So cool. They're having a piting contest right now. We are headed right now to do a catamaran snorkel tour. Oh, which we're gonna be so excited about. So much fun. We're so much fun. Get out on the beautiful ocean. The weather is perfect right now. So we're gonna be gone. I think it's like three and a half hours. We're so excited, guys. Get out, do one of our favorite things, snorkeling. And what better place than Key West? Guys, we had literally sprinted here. I parked illegally in order to make this trip. <laughs> this is insane though, how pretty it is. Guys, we are on this catamaran. It's so beautiful out. the reef out there it's where the water starts to get a little bit more turquoise that is where we're diving and apparently he said this is one of the three largest living coral reefs in the world obviously the biggest is Australia the second biggest is in Belize and the third is here in Key West that is pretty freaking cool anyway it looks like we're actually getting here because the turquoise is getting a lot closer Garbo's Grills. It was on diners, drive-ins, and dives. If you have not been there, definitely go there. It was amazing. It, it was, was so yummy. Oh my gosh. It was seriously delicious. I got a big old burger and then Brittany got three different tacos. It was Korean barbecue, shrimp, and I think salmon. Some type of fish. A fish. But you guys, check out these houses. I want to move here. Look how yeah. gorgeous this is. Are you kidding me? Just all the trees. It is absolutely so great. I love Key West. Sure, can we move here? Hey, you guys heard it first from Brittany. She asked if we could move here. I think we should. We're gonna head around, check out the rest of the town, maybe look for some dessert. Key lime pie round two. <laughs> Ocean on the right side, and we got 
got it on the left side. Such a pretty drive. Towels, thank you, though. You guys, Jared locked me out. We don't need any more towels. I'm sorry, we don't need any more towels. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> you fuck. Hey, should we show them around the room, though? Yes. Look at this shower. We are not used to this. Uh huh. Such a cool shower. Look at the huge vanity. Look at all this counter space. I could lay out like everything right there. And then I can have this little sliver. This will be my corner. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Look at this, it's so modern, so huh? clean. You guys, and it smells so good. They must use some type of air freshener in here. It smells amazing. It smells so good. They have really cute pictures. The coolest part though is this, you guys. Jerry, wanna do us the honors? Oh my, thank you. Look at this. So we have this little balcony out here, but look at these views. Oh my gosh. Downtown Miami. So cool. This will be really cool to see what it looks like in the morning too. <gasps> Look at that pool. I was changing colors. Oh, Look at the colors wow. of the buildings too. They're, it's, it's purple over here. Yeah. Okay, so Brittany has not seen it yet. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at this. <laughs> Seriously, I've never been at a hotel with a rooftop pool before. This is, yeah, this is so awesome. cool. Look at this guys. Literally surrounded by buildings. This is pretty incredible. So I don't know if you guys can see, there is a waterfall right here that's going into the pool. And then literally check out these massive buildings right here. <laughs> and we're already up on the 19th floor. Kind of give you an idea of how big and tall these buildings are. quite the day we have had so much fun you guys saw so much did so much we just really hit it hard today so i think it's time for bed so we are gonna call it a night you guys we have another day tomorrow cannot wait for that and tomorrow um, we'll also show you what the pool looks like during the day since we couldn't spend time up there thank you so much for watching for all of your sweet comments for subscribing we love you all and we hope you have a great day wherever you are and we'll see you next time see you guys love you bye key west where the key lime pie is better than at home. Let's see what they kept in the cellar underneath the stairs. Looks like Ernest Hemingway's vacuum. Yeah, we don't need any more towels, thank you though.